I, for one, don't find this humorous. I'm not going to lie. Just because it illustrates how desperate sneakerheads are for trainers and what they will do just to get them. And I feel like this is a post from over another. So the store in Mexico made the winners dress up as Powerpuff girls to pick up their pair. So there was these Powerpuff Dunk SBs that came out <coughs> recently and they went in raffle. And this, I guess this um, skate shop somewhere in Mexico made the raffle winners have to dress up as Powerpuff girls to pick up their shoes successfully. And in my opinion, I feel, I feel, I find this incredibly humiliating and I also find this to be a representative of just how far sneakerheads will go to get shoes. I said it earlier, I think, on Twitter that I honestly do think if you said if you told a sneakerhead to go down on their mum to secure a pair of hype sneakers, I think they'd do it. I think if you told a reseller, a sneakerhead, that you would give them the shoe for retail if they licked out their mum, they would fucking do it at a heart, in a fucking heartbeat. Even if their mum didn't want to do it, they'd do it by fucking force. Sneakheads are fucking pathetic, I think, in some respects. The way they fucking bend and kowtow to sneaker companies and the way they suck up to them for the shoes, the way they let them get away with fucking murder, Nike being the biggest proponent of it, right, over the years. Um, the fact that, for whatever reason, sneaker culture has become like a billion-dollar industry um, and for some reason they continue to create these artificial levels of scarcity. They don't need to make limited edition shoes. They could easily make enough shoes to satisfy demand, but they purposely create um, artificial scarcity to make people queue outside, to make people fucking fight for raffle entries, to fight in queues, fight each other in the fucking queues physically, stab each other, kill each other, right? Um, inflate the fucking resale market, make people fucking remortgage their house and buy fucking shoes. It's awful. These brands get away with fucking murder and nobody fucking says anything about it because they just want the shoes. They all want the shoes. And look at this. This guy's willing to fucking embarrass himself, turn up to this Mexico store wearing a Powerpuff outfit with these fucking man tatters out, like, for the shoe. Like, honestly, is there no... Do you have no pride? Do you have no self-worth? Are you not embarrassed? This is what you'll be willing to do for shoes. If you're willing to do this for shoes, it's not without a reason that you would fucking lick out your mum for a pair of shoes. If they said, hey, go down to your, go down to your mum, and I'll give you a pair of fucking Jordan 11s. I'll give you a pair of bread reimagined fours, right? They will probably do it. It's utterly embarrassing. It really is. I don't know why this triggered me so much, but it, I know it's just fun. It probably doesn't sort that deep and it's lighthearted. But for me, it's proof that sneakheads will do just about anything to get their shoes. And this is proof. This is fucking Mexico. This isn't even like in America or somewhere or here in the UK. This is Mexico. And this is proof that that sneakerhead desperation is something that exists everywhere in any fucking location and i absolutely hate it i really do and i think the dunks are fucking terrible anyway they're not even that good the best thing about the dunk is the fucking heel tab with the eye on it the rest of it is fucking shit they're not even that good they're not even good enough to warrant getting dressed up like this like what is this honestly horrendous man horrendous i fucking hate it all i hate it i hate it i hate it all and then of course to make it worse We've got this video, courtesy of Over and Under, that features a skate shop called Crook Skate Shop. And skate shops do this often, right? Where they will have guys in the store purposely break the boxes like this to not encourage people to resell. Because I guess the idea is Dunk SBs are made to skateboard in and they don't want resellers. They hate resellers. So they'll go and break up the boxes. So when you're buying the shoes, you can't resell them. But the thing is that's really dumb, and I believe something I've never understood is this, is that this is so corny and lame, is that most skater-owned sneaker shops, most skater-owned sneaker shops, most SOS, from what I've understood, they're being propped up, and the reason why they're still in business is because of fucking sneakerheads and resellers. If these guys didn't have Dunk SB accounts or SB accounts where they could fucking sell limited edition shoes, no one would give a fuck about them. Most of those stores go under, especially the ones that lose their Nike SB accounts. So it's kind of funny that they purposely mock and spit in the faces of sneakerheads when those are the people who are keeping a roof over their heads. Those are the ones who are allowing their kids to go to whatever schools they're going to or pay for their vacations or their fucking joints and shit that they smoke in the back. Like it's fucking weirdly disrespectful and also doesn't address the issue. The issue is, you know, 
how to keep those independent skate shops open and shit and help and, and keep them open to serve the community and obviously have them be in a position where they're not beholden or dependent on a conglomerate like fucking or corp mega corporation like Nike that forces them to buy shoes that they don't want. Because another thing I've heard also, I don't know if it's the same thing, but I did hear that if you've got a night if you've got a skateboarding shop and you want to have a Nike SB account, I've heard that if you want limited edition shoes, they purposely make you buy a ton of core shoes. So if you want the, all the limited edition shoes like the Powerpuff Dunks, they'll make you buy all the black and white basic dunks they release and all the other SB shoes they have under their range. And obviously if you're a skate shop, no one wants those basic SBs unless you skate. But most skaters will buy other skate shop, other skateboarding brands to wear, right? Specific ones, maybe Lakai, maybe DC, maybe Vans, whatever. But they're not going to buy SBs for the most part unless you get seeded. You don't really see a lot of skateboarders buying SBs really outside of the ones that get them seeded and shit, right? Um, they will mostly wear skateboarding brands. So you get skate shops that want limited edition shoes to bring foot traffic into their stores, but they get forced to buy core GR stuff the core GR stuff is way more plentiful than the limited edition stuff. The core GR stuff doesn't sell because skateboarders don't wear SBs for the most part. Um, and then the sneakerheads who you want to come through your door to buy the limited edition shoes and you hope will get into skateboarding, they don't want anything else. When sneakerheads go in to buy SBs, they just buy the SBs and they leave. They don't want decks. They don't want grip. They don't want tape. They don't want fucking um, nuts and bolts and shit. They don't give a fuck. Or tools. All they want is the fucking SB. So it doesn't even work as a way to kind of acquire new customers because sneakerheads and resellers are not into skateboarding whatsoever. They may be adjacent. They may share some commonalities and shit. There may be some crossover, but there's nothing um, that interests sneakerheads into skateboarding. And there's nothing that skateboarders will be interested in when it comes to sneakerheads. So I just find it utterly disrespectful they do is because I feel like, again, sneakerheads are the reason why these guys have businesses and they're able to keep a roof over their heads. And their issue really isn't with sneakers and resellers. It should be with the brands. The brands are the ones that create the artificial scarcity that makes SB is so valuable and that drives up their value um, and that makes them want to buy them and resell them. It's the brands that do it, not the fucking resellers. The brands could easily com in completely eradicate the resale market if they just made more shoes. Now that I'm seeking issues of building on the industry, there's no excuse. Make more shoes, but they don't make them because guess what? They enjoy the hype. They enjoy the click. They enjoy the engagement. They enjoy all the fanfare and all the free marketing that comes with it and all this nonsense. So I find this incredibly lame. It's incredibly shit. The same way that I find when skate shops back in the day would make people, you know, do kick flips and SBs um, to get the shoes and shit. It's like, or doing an ollie and shit. It's like, go fuck off, mate. I'm not going to be a performing monkey to buy shoes. I'm not going to fucking dress up as a Powerpuff girl to pick up a pair of shoes. Go, go get fucked. You know what I mean? It's not that serious. And if you ask me again, I might slap you in the face with the fucking shoe itself. But anyway, I don't know why it makes me angry, but I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it. I swear.